It goes by many names. The Besto. The Bug. It is the final shape. The end of all things. When all other bugs are patched, Telesto will remain. It is an unstoppable force. Paracausal. Every Destiny player fears its power. As Skill Up said, Telesto is like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. You can defeat him, but you know he'll be back next week. Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video, as well as the music too. Advanced GG told me that if we get 300 code uses on code Evan at checkout, they would make us an insulated and amazing metal ice shaker with our logo on it. I like these because they're subtle and don't shout to the world that you're a gamer. So if you don't want that label at work or school, you can rock one of these very easily. Let's make it happen. Code Evan at Advanced GG. And if you're one of the first 20 people that DM me on Twitter or Instagram and you live outside of the US, I have an even better special shipping code for you. The subscriber that changed all of YouTube forever. That could be you, but you chose not to subscribe and not to hit the bell. Wow. Just wow. Anyway, for the rest of the chads and the chadettes who sub with the bell on, enjoy the video. Fusion Rifles, a weapon type in Destiny 1 and 2 that just can't seem to find a groove. Well, that was until the current season of Destiny 2, Season 15, where an artifact mod has made them the must pick up in the game. Fusion Rifles have either been too overpowered or too underpowered, but the exotic ones have always had something in common. They find a way to break the game. I don't mean a simple, <laughs> they're so strong, <laughs> they break <laughs> the game <laughs> no i mean they are quite literally so game busting that they can do anything from causing bugs to quite literally crash the game for players all the way to getting infinite ammo and supers the first one up wasn't even telesto but instead another gun that we have covered in a separate video called the pocket infinity i'll let you watch that story for yourself but just know that the Pocket Infinity had tons of ammo and even more bugs with it. To the point where the Pocket Infinity was crashing players' games because of how fast the bolts were shooting and how many bolts were on the screen at once. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is Any that? Any bullets that makes have a chance to go back into the magazine, so... It was purely overloading the game to the point where Pocket Infinity would never come back. Not even for Rise of Iron. Not even for Destiny 2. This gun was locked away for good. Telesto would study that formula and take it all the way to the next level. Telesto released all the way back in the Taken King, and to a lot of players, this fusion rifle felt like a nod to Bungie's previous franchise Halo and The Needler. Even better of a nod was its lore tab in Destiny 2, which teased the events of Forsaken in the writing, talking about the Crow's return. I happen to love the design of Telesto, and feel like the gun is still almost unmatched, but Telesto was mostly used for damage and clearing out enemies. Just a pretty solid exotic with absolutely nothing wrong with it, right? Oh, oh boy. So let's stop wasting time and get back to the beginning. A huge shout out to Shinrei for helping me on the research for these and Cheese Forever for documenting a lot of these over time. So please go give these guys a lot of love. This is every single time up until season 15 of Destiny 2 that Telesto had a bug. Some of which may be similar, but some of these are almost unbelievable. 
I want to say that there could be some bugs that fell through the crack, but this was just what our research found. So if you guys have a bug out there that hasn't been found, make sure to leave a comment. And since this is season 15, maybe there's more that will come out. So be sure to comment if any new ones come up and comment on which bug was your favorite with Telesto. Anyways, let's get started. June 6th of 2017. This one involved the Felwinter's artifact back in Destiny 1. This artifact mod gave up your super in exchange for two melees and two grenades. Plus it would double the strength and discipline that you already had that an artifact mod would even give you with intellect because you weren't getting intellect. Now, this was the second bug that was found with this artifact. The first being power sliding, which was a very, very cool technique. But for this one, it was a lot simpler. In the Crucible, the plan was simple. Shoot Telesto on two smoke bombs, then blow him up. Thus generating orbs because two smoke bomb kills just dropped an orb. To make it more annoying, players ran the Frosty's exotic, so more smoke bombs came from just running around in circles. This was what I call a little baby bug on the grand scheme of Telesto bugs. Oh, also, since I forgot to mention this before, I won't be talking about the times they got patched because Telesto just keeps finding its way around them. So there's really no point. And I know it goes without saying at this point, but was this even tested? See, I had to get it out of the way. There you go. Number two. Now, there's a bit of a time jump between number one and number two here. In the Warmind expansion, a whole year later, Telesto sometimes has bugs that can be more beneficial than plain bad. This was the case with the Telesto bug being used to pre-place shots on the vents in the injection rig public event. If a player were to shoot these shots on the vents, then pull out another weapon and shoot the Telesto pellets on the vents, they ended up breaking them wide open. Easy year one public event exotics, and this is probably the hardest of the public events. All right, number three, June 25th of 2018. Remember when I talked about the bad ones? Well, the third bug up was exactly that, crashing other players' games. And this one isn't exactly patched, since I did this with 12-man raids, but we'll get there, we'll get there. If a player were to shoot a full mag of Telesto on a teammate, this would just plain crash their game. So let's just hope this one doesn't happen anymore. The fourth one up is less of a Telesto bug as much as it is a fusion rifle bug. Double jumping on a hunter, a player could charge their shot and store an insta charge shot. This one was a mild bug. Number five. The famous blind well bug was discovered a day after Forsaken's launch, and I can happily thank Telesto for making blind well a bearable activity. Well, that and making tier 3 of blind well actually doable early on. This one was simple. Spray Telesto bolts and destroy them, since they counted as an enemy for some reason. So if everyone shot a Telesto spread, the rounds would just end there. Can we... Can we... Um, <clears throat> have this one back. We interrupt this program to treat you to another bug that happened in the middle of Forsaken's launch. The infamous 1000 Voices audio glitch, in which jumping and tap firing 1000 Voices made this sound. This would eventually be fixed, but the best part is that Bungie actually turned this into an ornament called the One Terrible Scream in reference. And the ornament looks like 1K burned itself off with singed edges all over the place. Plus a small scream on the explosion if you really turn up your audio. We interrupt the interruption of your program to tell you another 1000 voices bug. This time tied to frame rate. 1000 voices, frame rate, it was doing more damage the more frames you had. So, it's your 3090s on sale. That is not a sponsored message, I'm just telling you. All right, number six. Now that Telesto had a vacation for a while, it came back when the gamers needed it most, for a raid cheese. This one had to do with Galron's deception, and the play was to spray Telesto bolts inside the deception shield prior to starting the encounter. 
If you killed yourself and stayed dead while the bolts detonated, you could get rid of the fake deceptions and do damage to the real deception prior to the encounter starting. Was this really useful? Come on, Jimbo. Is every bug you find outside useful? Some are just flying needles. Number seven. About a month after Shadowkeep, the big cannons came out for Telesto with some ashes to assets mods for turning grenades into super. Yep. Players just ran enhanced ashes to assets and got an instant super. Armor 2.0 changed the meta big time, but Armor 1.0 still existed. So by double dipping into both of these at the same time, throwing a grenade at Telesto bolts gave instant super. Thanks, Error. You're welcome, Evan. Also, make sure to check out my channel. I'm that guy that breaks down DPS of weapons and also uploads cool builds usually at least once a week and try to find other ways to break the game. Anyways, yeah, this was the first one to get Telesto all out disabled and would be the trendsetter for weapons and armor being disabled in that very same year. Number eight. So this one was an effect of Bungie disabling Telesto and just required any weapon to be equipped while Telesto was still in your inventory. Number nine. All right, we're jumping a couple months into the future for the first time infinite ammo was cool. I know you're used to infinite ammo primaries in season 15, but this one involves science and everyone knows science rules. With the heavy handed mod equipped and its secondary perk activated by being surrounded, whenever you would shoot one volley of Telesto bolts to kill something, each of the seven bolts counted as enemies defeated with a fusion rifle and granted ammo to reserves. This would even work if the player had a primary shotgun equipped and granted ammo to that shotgun as well. Yes, I did just call using mods in Destiny 2 science. Yes, I also somehow graduated college. Don't ask. Number 10. A couple weeks later, we have the bubble bomb glitch. Shooting Telesto at a friendly ward of dawn would teleport the bolts inside the bubble and on the ground in the center of the bubble. This was used to bait people in, and to be honest, this is on the light side of Telesto bugs, but we're making a video on every single bug, and this one needed its due. Number 11. Guys, not even a day later, Telesto got busy. These were found for these subclasses. Middle Tree Sunbreaker, Middle Tree Sentinel, Middle Tree Gunslinger. Wait, it still works with Middle Tree Gunslinger. Shh, don't tell Bungie. Destroying Telesto bolts with these subclasses could just simply proc their abilities. With Middle Tree Sunbreaker, you could destroy the bolts with a grenade for instant roaring flames times three which we used a while back to world record melt bosses back in the day. The only other one worth mentioning was Middle Tree Sentinel, where you could destroy the bolts with a grenade to regain health. With Middle Tree Gunslinger, you can still destroy the bolts with Knife Trick to proc playing with fire, which still, yeah, it, it still works. Number 12. We jump about a month later into, can you guess it? Yep. Another Telesto bug, baby! Infinite knock em down on bottom tree gunslinger worked by proccing knock em down to start the timer, and you can just destroy Telesto bolts to extend the knock em down timer whenever you want to. So, you're welcome. Number 13. All right, another week later, another infinite ammo glitch, this time with heavy and special ammo if the double finisher mod was on at the time. This one was on some Konami code type shit and needed needlers and quick fang. And, um, the card shuffle emo. Am I, am I, am I reading that right? By doing this, you could create a mechanic based god mode by combining the card shuffle emo glitch to remove your character model and quick fang glitches. Later, it was found that you could enter a no-cost finisher state with the emote, which could be procced by Telesto, spawning a special and heavy brick from each bolt because each bolt exploding counted as a finisher kill, and it could proc invis and health from Assassin's Cowl, just... What? Number 14. Another month, another Telesto bug. This one was a flashbang. 
and smoke bomb bug achieved by throwing a smoke grenade and covering it with telesto bolts. The pulsing effect of the smoke grenade was amplified by telesto bolts, creating a flashbang effect to anyone in close proximity. Number 15, same day bug. Telesto, if attached to a smoke bomb on thin walls, could damage players on the other side of those walls. Just a very fun time. Number 16. About the amount of time someone says they're quitting Destiny would take three weeks, a return to Destiny and now a return to Telesto bugs was in order. This time, an instant fire glitch was found. With at least one shot in the mag and one in the reserves, by getting a multi-kill to proc its Harbinger's Pulse perk and pressing fire after the shot, players could shoot off a second volley of Telesto bolts immediately. This bug was on the harmless side of them though, just kind of a boring bug. Like a beetle. Number 17. Telesto bugs took another big make or break amount of time off with this one not being found until April 16th of 2020, in which one-shot grenades were a thing with Telesto and Verity's Brow, resulting in, yeah, one-shot grenades. Just get a kill with Telesto to proc death throws, then shoot the ground and melee the bolts to proc death throws times five. The bolts will increase the stacks, but not the five-second timer. At the time, fusions, Storm and Scatter Grenades were one-shot kills, and Solar, Vortex, and Pulse Grenades earned even faster. This could maintain infinitely by proccing Ammo Finders while Death Throws was active and switching Verity's Brow off and on like an old Worm God glitch. God, it's a great day to be a Telesto. Number 18, May of 2020, Instant Melee Charge with Telesto and Top Tree Sentinel. After consuming the melee charge, shoot Telesto bolts on the ground and just melee them to get your melee back. This one could even be combined with Doomfang pauldrons. Number 19. It's been a whole year away. Well, time to go to the Leviath. Wait, what happened in this game? Hey, boys and girls. Telesto is back in January of 2021 with the Devour Health Glitch. After proccing Devour, just shoot Telesto bolts to proc the Devour healing effect. It's just that easy for this gun. Number 20. Ah, now we're on the first mission-based bug for Telesto that came with Presage and the Trash Compactor. All you had to do is just pre-fire the vents and it will pop the correct ones. Yep, that easy. And it's just like the Wormhaven window bug. Just thin surfaces, that's that's all you needed. You can't keep thin surfaces around Telesto. Number 21. So Telesto came back to the Saber Strike with a vengeance. Players may remember being able to go out of bounds by just jumping off their Sparrow back in Destiny 1. But this time, Telesto became the new Sparrow in town. And yeah, you still had to oob with a Sparrow flying under the Warsat but you could use Telesto pellets and kill enemies under the floor. Number 22. This one was during 12-man raids. 12 Telestos versus the floor, found by yours truly, crashed the game for everyone in the lobby. Number 23. At the end of the month, a Brachis Zon glitch was found. During the arms dealer boss fight, when Brachis Zahn retreated to his towers, you could damage and kill him with the Telesto by just shooting under his platform where he's standing. This bug also worked during the Fallen Saber boss fight by shooting the roof in the tunnel under the boss. Number 24. Ah, yes. Now the most recent ones. We have Season 14 bugs, and the first one came in May with the mod Energy Accelerant by just giving Telesto double damage. Like, completely double damage. Number 25. Now we're back in summertime again, and another Telesto bug has come in. Yep, this time with the Stasis Lance. By shooting Telesto bolts on the ground and throwing a Glacier Grenade on the bolts, the impact damage from the grenade destroys the bolts and spawns into Stasis Lance every time. Yeah, that seems balanced. 
Number 26. All right, everyone. We have finally made it to the current day where Telesta was breaking the game for the most recent time and the time that I finally decided to say fuck it and make a video. Trials opening day returned with its new and incredible system of loot. But Thermoclastic Blooming Artifact Mod and Telesto had something to say. All you had to do was spray Telesto orbs on the ground, melee them with the solar or a stasis melee, and Thermoclastic Blooming generated an orb of power for each Telesto orb destroyed. This one could have crashed trials into the ground. What was gonna be a triumphant opening day could have gone south so badly, but Bungie was fast. We talked about how they've disabled Telesto before. This time, they massacred my boy before he even got going. This one was fixed faster than you could even use Code Evan for advanced GG. And not only was Telesto disabled, but so was the damn mod. So props to Bungie for patching Telesto again, but like, it might just be time to hit the disable button on the damn gun permanently. Nah, that'd be too boring. How can our paracausal gun of choice live on? How can it break the Witch Queen? I'm predicting now that something will happen with the new Glaives and Telesto. Maybe even Savathun will have a bug with it. Hell, maybe Savathun's worm is named Telesto. Maybe a worm god should be named Telesto. All I know is that this gun broke destiny over the years and will continue to do so until it gets the pocket infinity treatment. But until that day, we have more stories to tell. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the bloopers and be sure to watch my stream over on Twitch to get free shaders and emblems for the Twitch bounty. And subscribe for more videos. Guess I'll end talking when Telesto gets a new bu- Mmm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. <laughs> so bad. What do you think was gonna happen? So Pick the bad. door right in front of us. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. I gotta. I gotta make a. I gotta make a cleanse. I, I gotta. I gotta make a cleanse. Bro. Fuck. Uh, oh, close, shit. Right. Fuck. What are you doing? Close, right? I can't do it. <laughs> I, I had to go into my thing and make a fucking block uh, command. I, I didn't have one. <laughs> Dad was eating a sandwich. Sorry, let me wipe my hands. How many people in chat want Dad to eat that pussy? Am I right, everyone? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Am I right, ladies? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stop. <laughs> the image isn't the only thing he's optimal at, ladies and gentlemen. That's oh god, know. Daniel's in the chat! Sorry, Daniel! Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you're, uh, you're so stupid! Uh, but you know what I'm talking about, right?